everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the uh, special event Global Guided Meditation Call for April 4th, Saturday, 2020. Uh, we're beginning this 25 minutes early at 8.20 p.m. We'll commence in about 25 minutes with the full meditation and you realize that we have a you know it's an energetic frequency alignment with two celestial bodies Pluto and Jupiter converging coming together so to speak lining up and we look at this planet we look at it from uh, from outside we see it we see the frequencies through the uh, sacredness of space uh, we take it all in understand something here we are the pure consciousness of all that there is and we're part of the collective consciousness of this planet Earth, Gaia, and also part of the collective consciousness of the universes. So we're all interlinked. In this meditation, we're going to do a through the heart mind visualization of, and we've done this before at, at some of our global guided meditation calls. We want to visualize everything that we desire to be no more. And we aren't doing this uh, in an aggressive way. We're doing it with deep eternal love. And that is about the only, that's the, that's the highest frequency that we can utilize that we are made of uh, in order to move ourselves into a higher frequency of deep eternal love. And, and you know, I'm saying this because it is a definite fact that we are in a 5D and we are watching the last vestiges of the struggle of the dark lower matter frequencies. So when we commence this meditation, we will connect with all of the celestials and all of the universes and we will converge our direction here in this now, in this moment. To all of the turmoil, all of the pain, um, sorrow, all of those who are under the grips of the 3D um, dark lower matter frequencies. Now understand when we, since we're connected to all things, to all life, to all existence, we're connected to that as well. So it isn't separate from us. And this is a mistake that's been made many times before. So we understand and we know because we've experienced many different lifetimes and this one, which is now, of this lower frequency, this lower dark matter frequency, lower survival matter frequencies. And so we know because it's part of the one. And when we begin to increase our frequency in our own choosing, it falls away. It no longer can hold itself in form and it can no longer hold itself in intent. So this is all about increasing vibrational frequency across the planet, on it, in it, above it, and below it. It also affects everything in the universe as a ripple effect. It affects all of the planets in our solar system. And there's uh, it's probably about 170, 80 planets in our solar system. So, 
if you will, go to a place where you're not going to be interrupted. And I'm sure we all are. And relax your body. Go into the, the deepest relaxation you can by letting go everything. All things that you may have picked up since today or yesterday or a few years ago, but all of them, it's like emptying your pockets and putting them on your, putting the content on your dresser. You're totally eliminating any attachments. You're surrendering to the God within you. You move into the now. And remember, the now is all we have. And we don't care to visit the past because the past is dead. It's, we've experienced it, it's over. So we're in the now, we're creating our future. We're creating a new world in, in our future. We are creating a new world beneath our feet as we are all gathered here this night. So relax the body, move into the now, you will still the mind by moving into the now because you're not pursuing the past and you're not pursuing the future. You're only in the now and in deep eternal gratitude of the now. And next we want to do is we want to breath in, breathe. As we relax the body and remember by relaxing your body, we can use a couple of examples, a, a canoe on a placid lake. We're just laying back, you don't have a care in the world. And you can hear your breathing. And you follow your breathing, your breath. It's the same in the hammock on a sunny summer afternoon with a light breeze. You're totally relaxed. You don't even move. You're in a space. You're in the space between heartbeats. You can barely hear kind of a rustling of the leaves in the trees. It seems far off. You might hear a dog bark or children playing, but it's so far off, barely audible. And eventually you just fade off in a space of total peace, total tranquility, complete benevolence, and you don't even move, you are so relaxed. And as you relax, you're breathing, you breath in through the nose and breath out through the mouth. Now remember, as we breath in, we literally Take that breath in through the sacral chakra and we pull it right up through the center of the body, all through the chakras, up into the brain cavity, and we compress that frequency into liquid energy. And the liquid energy is then literally dispersed through the brain tissue into the pineal gland. Pineal gland becomes more and more open, flexible. And we keep doing this, we breath in, we take our, uh, our uh, abdominal muscles and we control and move that breath up, up through the throat chakra, through the head, up into the brain cavity, the, the cranial area, your skull cap, and right above the pineal gland, you hold it in the back, and then you let it go as you breath out. And it saturates the pineal, which is the gateway to pure consciousness and beyond consciousness and the particles of existence. So we keep this going. We use frequencies while we hold it up as we bring it up. And the frequencies are, I am power, I am bliss. I am love, I am joy, I am peace, I am gentleness, I am kindness. And you just pull it up, use those frequencies to hold it, 
and then literally make it so it just flows over the top of your head through the pineal, back down around, back down the uh, chakras, and then pull it back up. You want to do this at least six times. Now we understand that while there's meditation, while we gauge this, we know that the ego mind is asleep. It is laying on the couch, bundled up and asleep because you've directed it to do so. And you are completely and purely through the heart mind and with your God within. And remember that we are all part of the pure consciousness. We are all pure consciousness. So as we do this, we know that we are in the heart mind. We are in with the kingdom of God within each and every one of us. And we're all one. Each of us are one with those three. And as we move ever so deeper within, as we embrace our God and deep eternal love, we make a call out to all of the light energy beings who are in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. And as we're calling out, all of us are in a vibrational frequency of the highest, deepest, eternal love and from the highest, deepest, eternal love and the highest of deepest, eternal gratitude. In this very now, as we are. And as the light energy beings who are also of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love and the highest, deepest, eternal gratitude. And we're all, all of us are in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, non-negativity, stillness of mind, gentleness, kindness, bliss, humbleness, joy, tranquility, benevolence. And as we call all of our, all of the pieces of creation, all the different civilizations, so all of these light energy beings they come in the Googleplexes, and one Googleplex fills this universe. And they come in the trillions of Googleplexes from every direction. So they are with us. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs, arm in arm, hand in hand. And we are all one. We have the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, all of the angels. This is civilization that vibrates at a higher frequency. We are calling upon them to come in and to assist with this meditation, to be with us. They are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love and the highest and deepest eternal gratitude. They're in full compassion non-judgment, non-negativity, stillness of mind, non-ego, gentleness, kindness, generosity and humbleness, bliss, joy and peace, benevolence and tranquility. We're all in this frequency. So as others come in, they join us arm in arm, hand in hand. We form this brilliant circle, this halo of light around the equator of this planet Earth, Gaia. This now, this meditation, is circle of light. 
Now we also call on the Ascended Masters, who have been with us for a very long time. They have ascended out of body and hold God form. form. God form is pure consciousness. We've ascended in body and we hold our God form. The body holds our God form. So we call out to all of the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, beneath earth, Agartha, many, many civilizations to join us in this meditation, in this now. They too are all of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love and the highest, deepest, eternal gratitude. They couldn't be in this meditation unless they were conscious of their vibrational frequency. So they join us arm in arm, hand in hand. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. We are all one. They fold right into the circle of light. The ascended masters, we call upon them. Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, St. Germain, Sananda, Jesus, Gaia, El Moria, Abidantia, Hell, Thoth, many, many, many. They too are all vibrating of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love and the highest, deepest, eternal gratitude. We're all one, all of us. Vibrating at the highest and deepest eternal love. And they are in the circle of life. We call upon all the galactics, off-worlders, many, many civilizations to join us in this now, in this meditation. They are all in the highest and deepest eternal love from the highest and deepest eternal love and the highest and deepest eternal gratitude. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, non-negativity, stillness of mind, gentleness, kindness, generosity, humbleness, bliss, joy, peace, tranquility, and benevolence. Pleiadians, Arcturians, Andromedans, Syrians, many, many, many more. They've been assisting us in our evolution and our enlightenment and our ascension, freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and slavery. And they are with us. We are all one. All, all vibrating at the highest, deepest eternal love frequency of pure consciousness. We call on our loved ones as well to join us. We call on those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love and the highest, of deepest, eternal gratitude. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, non-negativity, stillness of mind, gentleness, kindness, generosity, and humbleness, bliss, joy, peace, tranquility, benevolence. And they join us. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we are all one. And our halo, our circle of light, and Keats continues to intensify and expand. We call upon also all of the light energy beings who are currently have chosen to be in the following forms on and above and below this planet Earth, Gaia, and this now, and this meditation, and this circle of light. There's many, many, many of them. Fairies, the sprites, the elves, the gnomes, the dwarves, trees, the elementals, earth, air, water, fire, ether, The mermaid, the dolphin, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, the centaur, the minotaur, many, many, many more. 
trillions and trillions and trillions. They come in shapes, sizes, colors, forms, configurations, which we've never seen before. And they're all of the highest, deepest, eternal love. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They join us, and we are all one. We all move and elevate as this bright light of pure consciousness, of deep eternal love, of total relaxation. We're just effortlessly floating up. The light we are generating is bathing, saturating, and flooding all life on this planet in it, above it, and below it in its atmosphere, everywhere. This is an intense, flooding, saturating, all the children on and above and below this planet Earth Gaia. All of their fright and all of their fear, all of the harm that has come their way you visualize it, we watch it, we see it. And it shall be no more. Because that is our intent as the one, as the God, as the kingdom of God, with all of the angels, all of the ascended masters, all of the light energy beings, all of our loved ones in all lifetimes, all of the light energy beings now on this planet in and above and below it, all is one, the one. We flood all of these lower graving dark low matter frequencies we flood them with such a high level of deep eternal love and deep light, bright, with our friction of our love, when they can no longer hold their form. They can no longer be. We also have our meditative sphere that we created over two years ago, setting center circle that can be seen, heard, and felt in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond, and forever. It is our beacon. It is why we're able to call in all of the other source creation creations of pure consciousness and deep eternal love and gratitude. It holds all of our meditations in perpetual motion. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And it continues to intensify and it continues to expand. Now we all desire to do is through our heart mind, all of us together, the angels, the ascended masters, the galactics, off worlders, our loved ones, all of the light energy beings and all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever the highest of deepest eternal love and the highest of deepest eternal gratitude is to visualize a pillar of brilliant white light emanating from the cosmic central sun. The sun is brilliant. It is massive. then being distributed to central suns of all galaxies in this universe. Then we visualize this light entering through the galactic central sun and then going through our galaxy. Then entering our solar system and going through all beings all life of light inside our solar system and then through all beings 
on this planet Earth, Gaia, and also through all of our physical forms to the center of the Earth. Then we visualize this light transmuting all remaining coronavirus on Earth, transmuting all remaining coronavirus on Earth, disinfecting all infected areas on the planet, healing all patients, removing all fear associated with this epidemic and restoring complete, deep, eternal love, light, stability, balance, peace, tranquility, love. Visualize the course of events through your heart minds on this planet Earth Gaia, shifting into the most positive timeline possible. And remember, we are all the creators. We are all the designers. We are all the builders. So visualize the course of events on this planet Earth Gaia shifting into the most positive, timeless, possible, timeline possible, shifting away from all epidemics, away from all wars, away from all global domination, and visualize, we visualize white, pink, blue, golden, violet, blue, purple, emerald green flaming lights healing all inequalities erasing all poverty and bringing abundance prosperity and joy to all humanity and we visualize a new grand cosmic cycle of the age of aquarius beginning bringing with it pure light, love, and happiness to all beings on this planet Earth, Gaia, in this now, in this meditation, in this circle of light. I'll join you in the visualization of the meditation, and I'll return to close us out.